Hi, I'm Krista Namdahl and welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for making a new pattern. In this six part video series, I'm going to show you how to make some easy mitts, loofahs, and dishcloths using Be So Scrubby Yarn is my brand new number three DK weight textured yarn that is great for scrubbing dishes, cleaning bathrooms and floors, or even exfoliating your skin. You'll also need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle and scissors. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to make the small knit. It requires one ball of Be So Scrubby Yarn and a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. Let's get started. We'll start with, I like to pull my yarn from the center of the ball sometimes. You can pull from the outside edge as well. And we're gonna start with tying our yarn to our crochet hook. You can use a square knot, a slip knot, whatever works best for you. And round one begins with a chain 14. You want a single crochet in the second chain from your hook. We don't count the loop on our hook, that's our working loop, so we'll count back one, two. Single crochet is insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. You want a single crochet in each chain across. Okay, at this point you should have 13 single crochets. We're now going to pivot our work to work into the opposite end of our beginning chain. So we're now we're going to work a single crochet in each of these chains for 13 more single crochets. We're working on the opposite side of that beginning chain so that we have a single crochet above on the top and bottom of the chain. And at the end of this round, you should have 26 single crochets. Okay, at this point, we have 26 single crochets. We have worked into a round, but we're not going to join the round. We're gonna work in a spiral without joining our rounds. So now that we have 26 single crochets, we're ready to begin round two. Round two is worked into the back loop only. So as you can see here in this single crochet from round one, we have two loops here at the top of the stitch, kind of like a V. We're only going to be working into the back loop only, not both loops. So single crochet through the back loop only is insert your hook from the back loop only, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So we'll have 26 single crochets at the end of round two. This is what your work should look like at the end of round two. As you can see, your work is starting to curl up on itself. Because we're not increasing, it's not going to remain flat. It's going to start curling up on itself and eventually it will look this shape. Rounds three through 18 are going to be a repeat of round two, which is to work one single crochet through the back loop only in each stitch around. While my sample isn't 18 rounds tall, you can see this is what your sample, this is what your small mitt will look like when it's 18 rounds tall. So then I just wanna show you how we finish it off by working this last round 19. It's a round of loosely working single crochet in each stitch around. So let me show you how to do that. For round 19, we loosely slip stitch in each stitch around. Slip stitches, insert your hook into both loops of the next stitch, yarn over, Pull that loop through the stitch and through the working loop on your yarn. And you want to do this loosely so you're not going to tighten your work at the end of each slip stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the stitch and the working loop. And that's slip stitch in each stitch around and then fasten off and you'll have your finished small mitt. Please follow the link in the video description for the PDF pattern that includes all six of these patterns as well as information on Be So Scrubby Yarn and there's also a link to the entire playlist of all the videos in this Be So Scrubby series. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. Everything we talked about today, you can find as links in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.